Yeah, so here's the uh, old gramophone from down in the basement. And I've refurbished it a bit out in the shop. It might look a bit better now. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, so down in the uh, basement for years and years, we had this old Victoria phonograph hanging around. Victor phonograph, and it's been, uh, that's the speaker right there for it. And the sound goes down that hole. The turntable I've got way over here. That's upside down right there. That's the mechanism. It works fine, the mechanism. And that's be the turntable there, and the platter goes on top of that. And uh, anyhow, I'm going to repurpose this. There it is, is the old Victrola. Now I've got it strapped together now and gluing the veneer back onto it because the veneer was coming off. Then I'll strip it down and fix that corner there with glue. And I took the, uh, you can see where the strips where you can put records in down below. That was in this portion here. I took those couple of center strips out, these ones, and I'm going to be able to be able to put all our electronic gear for our internet in there, and all the blinky lucky stuff. I got a couple of drives that I keep in there and things like that, and uh, all the wires will come out the back somewhere, and uh, it might be kind of cool looking for our internet station. And then we hook our computers and our wireless and all that kind of stuff to it. So, at the end, the roof will go back on. And the back will have a hole in it there to uh, get the wires out. And it might look pretty cool, but it's a little bit of a project in work right now. Yeah, and this thing here is where the old needle used to go. The needle used to, I've got a whole bunch of needles, they stick right in there. And then this part here flips over. And the needle is, you can see how it's connected here from this, and the needle would vibrate this thing here, and then it would make this piece of plastic here, which unfortunately is broken a bit, it would go, the sound would be pushed into there, and then this whole piping system would make it amplify all the way along, and then out there, and that would go into here, and then there's a couple of cabinet doors in the front here, and this is the speaker right here where the sound would come out. And it's, it's quite ingenious. And I do believe there'd be a volume of some sort on it. Maybe this, this thing here might be a volume, I'm not sure. There'd be a damper in there somewhere for the volume. Cool stuff. Take two, so here's an example of how much the sound amplifies out of this. You tap on this, and you just hear that little bit of noise right there. Then if you take it and open it up so that you can hear it here in the big noise, very loud. And then if you take it through this whole system here, we'll put it, stick it in there, and then see what happens if you go out here. That's exactly the same tapping. Amazing and genius. There's the platter. And we've got lots of records around. Open the gates of the temple. I think this is a 33 and a third. No, it's a 78. Yeah, so here, a couple of weeks ago, I brought in this uh, gramophone to fix up. It's been down in our basement for, well, 10 years now, I guess. And <clears throat> one of those things, you know, you always mean to get to. Well, I cut a couple of extra holes in the back of that here. I'll show you, tell you what that's all about soon. But it looks pretty damn good. Kind of a nice little piece of furniture. I thought I'd repurpose this into uh, where I put all this stuff for the internet, the router and everything like that. So I cut those two holes in the back there to run the wires in. Then I'll put the, I've got a couple of big drives that I keep for backup and then the router can sit up in this part. And then you can have storage for magazines, well, magazines or uh, whatever you want to call them, things, uh, manuals and stuff like that. And then this part here is the old 
up above is the old uh, speaker. And don't you know, the thing still works. Works pretty good. You open up those speakers and then you lift the lid on it and it's an old Victorola. I was able to save that from getting damaged anywhere. And you, this thing here is the brake for it. You just hit that brake and let it stay and speed up the record a bit. There's a speed control right here and that you'd screw it this way and this way to make it faster or slower and uh, I'm just happy that it goes round and round. Now the needle on it is quite the needle, you just stick a needle, a needle out, of a, out of a bucket full of needles in there <laughs> and away it goes. So if you want to lower the volume, you close that thing up. <laughs> you want the volume louder, you open that thing up. Very ingenious. It goes from the needle. The needle vibrates this little plastic thing on here, which is a little bit broken. And that sends the noise down this tube and then into this part here, which connects directly to this speaker system in the front. Now it's all on a wind up, so don't know how long it'll last or how long you have to, how many times you have to wind it up for a record. And the sound is excellent quality as you can tell. I'm pretty sure that's tough on the vinyl, but these vinyls, they only have uh, grooves on one side. They don't have grooves on the other side of them. Yeah, quite the rig. Sounds like it's winding down.